Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Factory CLI just announced that you can use any open source model to their CLI. And here you see that I have just tried this and I am now using this Gemini 2.5 as the provider. So if you see that currently they have this kind of providers, built-in provider like GPT-5 Codex, Sonnet 4.5, GPT-5 and Opus 4.1. But here you see that as a custom models, I have attached this long cat coder and this Gemini 2.5 Pro. But uh, in their official documentation, they have just mentioned that you can use any kind of provider like Open Router is supported, and this Olama is also supported, Hugging Face supported, Deep Infra supported, and Google Gemini supported. Okay, so in this video, I will show you the full setup that how you can do this and uh, there is no money you have to give it is completely free so here you see that some days ago this glm 4.6 was also open sourced it is available in hugging face and uh, here you see that using this hugging face inference also you can use this uh, 4.6 model and uh, they have also attached this information that droids achieve the highest score across all open source model on terminal bench and we find GLM 4.6 to be the most uh, performant remarkably achieved score in Android that beats Sonnet 4 in Cloud code. Okay, so here you see that uh, GLM 4.6 is performing best. And now the thing is that those who don't know what is this factory CLI droid. So it is basically the same things like the cloud code. And here they are providing some of the advantages like end-to-end -end feature development, deep code base understanding, engineering system integration, and this production ready automation. And some people are saying that this uh, factory CLI is actually based because here you can use your own model and also uh, it has the deep understanding of the code base and giving the best performance. So that's why uh, many people are actually using it. Now let's see that how to attach this uh, this uh, own model setup. So for that, uh, they have just given some of the information. Now to see that you have to create this kind of config.json file. Okay, now how to do that? But before that, make sure you have this factory CLI downloaded. Now, how to install this Droid CLI in your system, Mac, your Linux or Windows. I have given this documentation link in description. Go there and you will find these things that step on install and start Droid. So if you're on Mac or Linux, then run this command. If you're on Windows, then run this command. Okay. So, uh, Remember one thing that Windows user have to run this command in your PowerShell, not in the command prompt, means not in CMD. So just copy this command and open your PowerShell for the Windows user. And uh, after that, run this uh, in this way. Let me show you. Here you see that I have just run it and uh, you will get this kind of things that downloading factory CLI. Okay. Now, another thing is that after downloading this, what you have to do that um, you have to edit it in your system variable path. So just open your system variables, just writing in the search bar the system variables and it will open that and here just uh, edit that. Okay, let me show you. Just click on this environment variable and just go to this path. Where is that path? This is the path, edit that and here below. Here you see that I have added this C users and username bin. So how can you find that? So just go to your C drive and inside the C drive, go to this users and inside the users, you will find your username and here you will find this bin. Where is that bin? So this is the bin. So just uh, go to this bin and copy this whole path from here and paste that here and click on this OK and OK and OK. Now it will work fine. And because inside this bin, here you see the droid is present. Here you see. So that's why if you give this bin path, then it will work, right? Now, after that, open any of your project. Let's say this is my project in HTML, CSS, and JS. And inside that, just uh, write in this way. Okay, let me show you from scratch. So open now CMD. Now you can open the CMD. And after that, write this draw it. Okay, draw it and press enter. 
and let's wait for that okay okay so it will show you one cli tool okay, it will take some time yes now i have got this droid now thing is that you have to do the setup for the custom model so normally after doing the setup it will ask you for the authentication so do that authentication and after that here you will find this under this model you will find this this kind of factory provided model this is the built-in by default model now for setting this custom models means the free models you have to go to this um, so you have to go to this folder which folder you have to go to this dot factory folder okay so again inside your c drive uh, inside your user and inside your username and here find this dot factory here you see the dot factory folder is present go inside that and here you will find many files but uh, for your case you will not find this type of config files if you find that it is uh, best but uh, uh, if you don't find then just create one json file and name the file as the config okay create one json file and name the file as the config remember these things because that you see that they have given these things only that you have to do the setup in your config.json file so create one json file with this name config.json now the main thing what you have to do that open this folder open this config folder in a notepad or vs code and after that you have to paste the models like this and they have also given the structure that is that custom underscore models so you can what you can do that just copy this whole things and uh, paste it here okay and after that if you are if you want to use the open router model then you can set up the things for the open router if you want to interest for the uh, gemini model then you can do the setup for the gemini and also they have given all of these things like uh, for gemini you have to do this in this way this is the base url and you have to get the api key from the gemini ai studio here you see it is very simple create api key and keep any name here and create your api key and uh, another thing is that for the hugging phase okay so for the hugging phase let me show you for hugging phase what you have to do you have to copy this and paste it so this url will remain same you have to just change the model name same for the gemini same for the open router so i have given this documentation link in description go there and on the left hand side you will find all of this provider under this bring your own key you will find this provider okay so for the olama or for the open router so for open router here you see that this is the endpoint and this is the model name and this is the api key okay in case of open router you have to provide the open router api key let me show you how you can get that so here you see that go to this open router and under this profile you will find these keys and go there and here you will find this create api key so just give any name click on this create you will get your api key now when you are choosing any open router model make sure that model have the tool calling ability if that model doesn't have the tool calling ability then it will not work remember this now how you can find that so i have given this link in the description so already if you open this link you will find all of the models that support the tool calling otherwise if you filter the models on the left hand side here you see the tools it will show you all of the models that have tool calling ability like gpt5 pro glm 4.6 cloud sonar 4.5 dfc version 3.2 experiment all these model have the tool calling ability okay okay so i hope now you got the point and remember one thing that uh, when you are doing the setup for uh, for this open router the base url will remain same you have to just change the model how you can change the model so if you go to any model like openai gpt5 pro so here you see that you will find the model name here this is the model name so just click on this copy option and it the whole model name will be copied and just paste it here okay inside this here paste it just paste it so it will work fine okay and for the gemini also the base url will work so all of that base url and model name will find from their documentation it will not be an issue and api key is the same thing and for the hugging face also the same thing and 
and make sure when you are using any hugging face model they have this inference provider is written if that model don't have the inference provider then probably it will not work okay so please check here you see that for this glm 4.6 there is an inference provider it is written so that's why this model implementation will work and for this hugging face remember one thing you have to provide the hugging face token okay here you see the hugging face token like for gemini you have provided the api key for open router you have provided the api key for a hugging face how you can get the token so for that you have to go to your profile on the right hand side and after that you will get this settings option so go to the settings and after that on the left hand side you will find your token where is that here you see access token so if you go to the access token just uh, provide your and here confirm your identity and after that here you see that you will find your create new token option and after that just keep access to all of these things the repositories inference just keep all access here also here also here also means all the checkbox that are clickable just click that okay just click that otherwise you will not get the full access of this token and after that below you will find this create token so just click on this create token and and keep a token name here and you will get your token and just uh, paste the token I, api key here and uh, just place these models one by one in this inside array where is the custom underscore models inside this array just uh, write in this way all of the providers that you want to use just place it after one by one one by one and with using comma separated as an object and it will work fine okay so let's say i want to add this control v and let me use my own hugging face um, token so let me just keep a name draw it okay click on this create token this is my token and uh, just paste it here yeah, this is my token and just save it okay and after that again go to my now here you see that inside this dry it these two models are showing long cat and this uh, gemini 2.5 core pro so here you see that there is a long cat model and this gemini 2.5 pro now this extra model gpt oss i have added so if i just uh, rerun it just close it and control c and again just run it draw it okay just write draw it and press enter it will work fine okay so it will take some time to for starting and here is the draw it and now if i just write slash models and here you see that gpt oss is coming here now if i select this gemini 2.5 pro because I actually prefer this Gemini 2.5 Pro or this Hugging Face GLM 4.6 uh, because these are two best models that I have found work uh, perfectly. And now if I just write just basic hi because I am not showing here that how this Droid CLI works because for that I will probably make another separate video. If you request, then I will make uh, that how this um, factory CLI means the Droid CLI works with the code base how you can uh, do the com communication how you can send the request how you can modify that code base but here in this video i have shown you the new feature that how you can use uh, your own model with the droid cli because droid cli is the best cli that i have found after the cloud code okay so here you see that i got the request hello how can i help you today it is working fine so I hope that this detailed video explanation uh, will be helpful for you. The detailed guide I have shown you. If you face any difficulty, just let me know in the comment section. I will give you the proper explanation with the answer. Okay. And please don't forget to watch the other videos also. I know that the video got very lengthy, but this was required to explain you the whole step-by-step -step process. Okay. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.